Hey everybody, Jeff with Covet the Camper. I'm going to be installing the Lagoon table leg, uh, the swivel mount table leg, uh, in the truck camper today. I actually got two of them, so let's get to it. Alright, so we got the mount, and then these are some wedges uh, that you use to uh, level out the or to plumb up the, the table. So if you've got a surface that's uneven, you know, if it's at an angle, you can put these in to level it out. It can also just be used as backing plates. Stainless steel hardware. We've got the leg. This is the, uh, the table mounting base. The swivel arm. Mounting leg. Just tighten up like that. Mounting plate. The little dovetail slides in this groove here. And then this little uh, lever here is how you tighten it up. So now it doesn't move. So that's how you get your height adjustment. I'll show you all this inside the camper. Okay, it's nice aluminum. Pretty lightweight for but it's but it's stout. I mean that's some good thick aluminum but it's uh, relatively lightweight. Uh, a backing plate, just a plywood uh, backing plate for the back side of your cabinet or your um, dinette or wall that you're going to mount this uh, bracket to just for a little extra stability and the instruction sheet you can pause that all right so the tools you're going to need here a screw gun this is a 5 16 inch drill bit you're going to need a tape measure a pencil or a sharpie probably not really needed optional but a level i've already got this side marked out I'm going to get this other side here too because I've got two brackets. I want the top of this bracket to be five inches below the top of my sofa cushion. Mark your hole locations. Make sure that you're not drilling in anything like uh, electrical uh, cables, uh, any uh, venting for your heater or air conditioner or your furnace or air conditioner. Um, any 12 volt wires or anything like that. So, but I've got my ducting uh, kind of tucked in here and uh, I want to make sure that I push that back far enough. So when I drill this hole uh, or these four holes that I don't puncture my ducting. So yeah, in my case, I've got that, that duct. I'll just be able to push that back while I'm drilling the holes. Side over here against the uh, bulkhead is going to be a little bit different. I'm actually going to go through the bulkhead and um, bolt it to the outside of the camper um, using some uh, of this composite material that I uh, used to frame the uh, new slide out. So this will be a nice big beefy backing plate for the table mount. It's just going to be a piece the uh, you know of uh, composite that I'll be able to see from the outside, but I'll seal it up really well. And uh, it's behind the cab anyway, so I won't even be able to see it. And then this is the piece for uh, over on this side. I've trimmed it down a little bit on my table saw. Um, that way, when I when I put it in here, it lines up with where I've got the uh, the holes drilled. And then uh, you got some nice stainless steel hardware and um, lock nuts. Uh, it's nylocks, so I'll be able to uh, secure that really well. my case here, this uh, sofa's in the way for just this one hole. I got these three holes drilled. Uh, I've got my 90 degree adapter here. All right. Okay, so, more holes. Alright, I got all the machine screws in. Here the nuts are uh, 13 millimeter.
And I thought I'd show you the tabletop material that I purchased just from Lowe's. You can get these at Lowe's or Home Depot, uh, 24 by 18. I figured I'd buy a couple of them. Uh, I'm just rounding the edges over on the uh, router table <clears throat> and uh, giving it a quick sand. Um, 80 grit, 120 grit, 220 grit, and then I'm going to uh, hit it with some stain and some uh, semi-gloss finish. Okay, so just a quick coat of, uh, what am I using here? Just some uh, Minwax Ebony. I'll just, uh, I'll do, I'll probably do two coats of it, uh, top and bottom. All right, I decided to do a little bit of uh, Bombay Mahogany. Uh, along with the Ebony. Give it a little bit darker. It's coming out more brownish red on the camera, but it's uh, it's got a nice, really dark, rich um, kind of burgundy mahogany color to match the vinyl and the uh, sofa. I think it'll look good. All right, I'll let those dry overnight and get them installed. All right, so I ended up making a three-quarter inch standoff uh, out of that composite. Get the arm back on here and... All right, when the slide out's in, you can still use it. That's the same position that it was in when the slide out was out. And now I can rotate it like that, loosen up my tabletop, and it can be swiveled so you've got more, you know, area out here. And I got both of the brackets mounted. And when the slide out's in, get good clearance. Need to get my tabletops put on. They're still drying. All right. Well, uh, it's been a couple of days. I got the uh, tabletops mounted to the lagoon brackets and uh, got everything kind of situated to where, when we swivel the the tables, they're kind of giving us you know the best positions possible. Um, with the slide out uh, open and closed. So I'll uh, show you what the uh, final product looks like. Okay, well, I got the slide out out right now. And uh, there's the, the table. The table tops just mount to the uh, bracket using six screws. I think they turned out really good. Right now, I've just got them kind of loosened up to where you can get into the sofa. Bring in the table however you want to bring it in. You can tighten it down using the bracket. Um, tighten this part down so this doesn't move either. It's about the right height. Still use it on this side for um, you know the kids or whoever wants to sit on this side on the uh, fold-out bar stools. That's pretty cool. Swivel it around. It turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. You can go all the way out like this too and um, use it as a, an another prep surface for the kitchen area. So that's kind of neat. Just real quick, I'll show you how I mounted the uh, bracket on the bulkhead here. So this is the one that's up against the uh, the cab over. I'll go outside and show you what I did for the plate. So out here, I used that three quarter inch 
composite material and stainless steel hardware. And then I'll, uh, I'll go all the way around it with some sealant. Okay, well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys uh, liked it. And I'll leave the links below in the description for the lagoon legs. And uh, you can get these tabletops, just the uh, laminated pine at you know, Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, the stain and stuff like that, same thing, Home Depot or Lowe's. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the way they turned out. I think we'll have uh, lots, of, lots of good use out of that nice addition to the camper remodel so anyway again i uh, hope you guys like the video thanks for watching and uh we'll catch you on the next one later